Emojis, laughing face, poop, aubergine. Whichever it is, did you know that you can use them on the edit page within DaVinci Resolve? Simply grab the regular text effect from within the effects library, drop that on your timeline, open up the inspector, and because this uses rich text, that means it can accept emojis. And did you also know, you don't need to have all these emojis saved on your computer because they were already there. You have access to pretty much all of the emojis ever with a real simple keyboard shortcut. If you're on Mac, simply hit the FN key to open up the emoji selector, pick the one you want and it'll drop it straight onto your text effect and then you're good to go. If you're on Windows, you simply hold down the Windows key and then hit the full stop key. That will open up the Windows version of the emoji selector, select the one you want, it'll drop it straight on there and you're good to go. You can then resize it, rotate it and reposition it as you need. Now, quick tip on Windows, I found that when you make it too big, it does seem to do some weird things. So I prefer to resize it using the standard settings transform tools rather than changing the size of the font within the actual text itself. But have a play with it and see what works. You can use them for memes and all sorts of other fun stuff within your videos or creating a real quick text style pop-up like this. And it's really easy. Give the text effect a click on your timeline, open up the inspector and within the title section where you've got all of your usual settings, scroll right to the bottom until you see background. Give color a click so you get the color picker and select the color you want for your background. Increase height until you start to see the background appear. Also change the width if you need to. Then I'm gonna go back to my settings tab, change the position, the zoom, rotation, whatever I want to get it where we want it. And boom, it's as easy as that. You've created a simple little text pop-out. If you need to create more of them, simply click the effect on the timeline, hold the Alt key and drag to a new position to create a duplicate like so. Change the position, the text, and the color, and job done. You can duplicate this as many times as you like. Plus, they're also really useful to have if you're creating your YouTube thumbnails within DaVinci Resolve, which I made a video on up here. So go give that a click if that's useful to you as well. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see ya.